Hi everyone, so I'm here in the studio with my good friend, Mr. Podbod, uh, and he and I are going to talk to you a little bit about the second part of Pilates. We've talked about the first part, the mind, and how that's so important in Pilates. The second part is the powerhouse, and it's easier to show you when you're using the skeleton, and you don't have to worry about your jumpers, your clothes, your bits and pieces. So let's have a look. If I roll up, sorry for this, roll up Mr. Podbod's lovely t-shirt you will see something quite obvious hopefully he has got bones everywhere front and back front and back but what is this giant hole in the middle this void this void is the very thing that pilates is all about because we used to be creatures on all fours. And when we were on all fours, it wasn't as important for us to have a deep powerhouse, a deep abdominal strength to support our back against standing up. But now we have evolved to standing upright. The whole body hasn't quite yet evolved into that. So we can stand upright, of course we can. But this centre here between the rib cage and the pelvis has no bony landmarks in them, apart from the spine at the back. So if I want to support all of this area here, which is the spine, the area inside here will be your vital organs. And of course, everything that's above it joint-wise and below it joint-wise, I need something other than relying on bones that are not there. Perhaps once upon a time, we might have had a little structure here between the rib uh, down to the hips that kind of give us some artificial boning. But we don't have that. So we only have an area here that has a great big void and hole. Now, if we don't have any bones to help support our middle part of our body, we tend to fall forward. Like Mr. Podbod's doing here. I don't know if you can see this, but he's slightly leaning forward. That's like many people that we see, this kind of stoop position. That's because this center part hasn't got its stilts, its structure to help hold us upright, it's pulling us and allowing us to fall into gravity. Notice what happens when Mr. Podbod, slightly leaning forward here, has a bit of force around and acting his spine. So I'm gonna recreate what it's like to have some abdominal strength here, forcing against the spine. And look how he stands upright. Without it, leaning forward, and with it, standing upright. Now that force, that support structure, the core muscles that are often referred to, support this whole area from front wrapping around to the back and give us a front to back support structure that helps our spine have some support. But not only has the lower back and spine got some support, if my body has not got the support and it's falling forward, look how the shoulders will round, the chest will start to round. The back becomes weaker, the neck starts to go further forward. The hips have more force down in the front of them, which is why we often feel like we have tight hips. And the knees have more load. The whole front body is getting more load, the back line is getting weaker. Hamstrings are getting overstretched, bum muscles aren't really doing much, abdominal relaxing here. But if I put that load strength back in again, so I'm gonna give me some strong abdominal muscles, it pulls my spine into an upright position, which helps to take the pressure off the forward load up here, using some back strength up here, a little higher in my upper back, opening the front of the chest. The weight of my head is no longer forward, it's up and back, which means my poor neck muscles aren't getting as much stress and strain on them, and the weight into my pelvis and hips isn't as much. If I pull myself up, I also allow my hips to come into alignment. My bum muscles are gonna to have to start kicking in and doing something, and the front of the hips won't get so much load. Thanks, Mr. Bodwell, you can relax. So that's what abdominal strength is. That's what we rely on in Pilates, that's what we teach Pilates, and it's called the powerhouse. The powerhouse is not just the core muscles, which are actually located and attached to this kind of pubic bone area at the front here, and wrapping around towards the back bones, it's actually the entire space all the way up and underneath this rib cage, including, sorry, pulling you up again, the diaphragm, which is these muscles underneath the rib cage, is including the muscles at the back, underneath the shoulder blades, it's including everything basically from the rib cage 
down to the pubic bone, front, sides, back of the shoulders, bum muscles, hip muscles, abdominal muscles, diaphragm muscles, everything. That's what we call the powerhouse. So we will work on strengthening the entire area around that powerhouse area in order for you to have more control of the rest of your body, better posture alignment, which means you're less likely to cause imbalances and starts to help you create a balance back in the body if you have an imbalance, if you have some perhaps some issues going on. And what we do in Pilates is as we are moving in the exercises, we focus our mind, point number one, into our center, our powerhouse, point number two, and then we move our arms and legs. But instead of just moving them, we're moving them by drawing our mind into our center, pulling the force in here to support our body against the moving parts of the limbs. So if I stretch forward and I don't have my center I'm going to increase my body going forward but if I mind into powerhouse pull my mind into my center and strengthen my abdominals inwards and upwards against my spine as I move my arms my arms can move without my whole body moving with it which means that not only am I not putting more and more demand on the parts I don't want I'm also positively helping me to increase the range where I do want. And if I don't have that, then when I do move my arms and I put in increased force in the front of the body, already Mr. Podball's having a hard time here, you get reduced mobility. You can't lift his arm up anymore because the body's forward, because there's more pressure in the shoulder. If I give myself some core strength and work on the whole powerhouse, I can allow my arm to move right up. Simples. So that is why the powerhouse is so important. That's why we add the mind into our center. Mr. Joseph Pilates called it Contrology, the study of the art of control, the science, the study of art of control. And it comes from a mind-body connection, and that's what we mean. So here's your powerhouse, here's why we need to use it, and here's how. I mean, his leg literally just fell off. His leg literally fell off because you have no core muscles. So I can say it all the time.